Hello everyone, this is Dr. Parashish and today, from today we are going to start a new series of object detection using various various technologies like TensorFlow 2, then we are going to do on YOLO V4, then we are going to do on Detectron 2, but let me tell you about this, uh, this one, okay, this playlist TensorFlow 2 object detection, basically we are going to detect the objects like this using TensorFlow API. Okay, basically, which we, uh, like we are going to use TensorFlow 2. Okay, I'll tell you each and everything. Let me tell you what are the things we need to do. Like this is like today, first day installing <coughs> the prequestics and sorry, sorry for the spelling mistakes. Okay, I make lots, lots of spelling mistakes and installing prequestics and uh, uh, creating a virtual environment. Okay, this is important. Virtual environment then the second day okay like tomorrow configuration of CUDA with tensor so this is for only for GPU users okay NVIDIA GPU users okay this is optional uh, for CPU users like uh, they can use collab and those who have NVIDIA GPU users they should watch this because we are going to configure graphics card with tensorflow okay uh, then on the next day third day installation and running of object detection this is going to be live project live implementation okay then also fourth day training own custom model this is also going to be live implementation okay then the fifth day testing okay like uh, whatever we are going to train let's say we uh, most probably we are going to uh, do this pothole detection okay like uh, let me tell you if you if you use this okay if you if you just uh, install and run object detection you will get 80 80 plus objects or most probably 90 plus i think okay 90 plus pre trained objects to detect like uh, uh, like bottles like person okay like uh, kite person bottle uh, cell phone and all so pre trained you will get but Let's say you want to, let's say you want to uh, make your own custom object detection. Okay, let's say, uh, now let's say um, you want to detect both holes, which is not included in this 90 plus objects, right? So, you need to train your own custom model. Okay, whatever you want to detect, which is not included in, th in that 90 plus objects, like samosa, like, you know, any food items. You can do this and then on the fifth day, we will do a small part like testing, okay. Then after this week, this week we will do this. Then after this week, from the next week, we can implement mask RCNN, okay. Like this is mask RCNN, let me just tell you mask RCNN, mask RCNN, okay. Like it uh, actually creates mask like objects, okay. Like the masking, which is very accurate. We will again uh, do both holes, okay, like uh, we most probably do on the same both holes data set. Like this, uh, instead of this bonding boxes, it will create mask, like mask here, mask here, mask here, okay. Anyways, let's start, um, let's start uh, with installation, okay. So, first of all, what is virtual environment? Let me tell you what is virtual environment. Um, let me just open that global this went okay so let's say like for ex absolute beginners who don't know what is virtual environment and what are the ways to create virtual environment let's say you are working on uh, multiple projects parallelly okay parallelly simultaneously you are working on some projects okay let's say you are working on three different projects on a single day as a freelancer you ha have to work okay many times it happens so let's say on the on the first project you need tensorflow 1 on the second one you will need tensorflow 2 okay and on the third project let's say let's say for in the second you need tensorflow 2.2 and the, in the third one you need specifically tensorflow 2.2.4 2 now you have only one computer what you going to do with this now you have only one computer how are you gonna deal with this okay like of course you will not buy more laptops and more computer right multiple laptops and multiple computers so what you do is 
in your computer you create multiple computers virtual computers you can say you can create multiple computers and we call it as virtual environment in your environment in your computer you can create more computers in this computer you can install tensorflow 1 in this computer you can install tensorflow 2 and in this computer you can install tensorflow 2.4 and no like each computer will behave separately and they will not affect they will not affect each other they will not affect each other anyway so let's say if you want to work on this project you can deactivate this two and you can activate this one let's say you want to work on this project you can deactivate this and this and you can activate this let's say you want to work on this project similarly you can deactivate this two you can activate this and this environment will get activated and you will be having tensorflow 1 okay so this is the fundamental of virtual environment basically you create more environment in your computer okay and in those environment you can install anything you want and it will not affect any of your environment and the whole computer the whole computer is called base environment okay this is the whole the, the overall we call it as base environment in the comp like the computer is the base environment right the basic one but in that basic one you can create like <coughs> you can create more environments okay so environment number one environment number two environment number three and the computer is itself is called base environment okay so i prefer to uh, i prefer not to use base environment okay i prefer not to use the base environment i prefer to use like uh, the i prefer to create multiple in like i prefer to create environments for my projects okay let's say for one project i create one environment similarly for another project i create another environment for that particular project and i install all the dependencies i do everything here and it and it and it stays here it doesn't go in this environment in this environment or in base environment okay so what are the ways the like uh, there are many ways like uh, let's say conda environments okay which we gonna use conda anaconda okay so we call it as conda environment there is something called python virtual environment okay using pycharm you can create python virtual environment and there is something uh, one more thing i i guess pip pip environment okay so the like uh, using this if you if you use pycharm now you will get options okay like conda python or pip basically you can create using the like basically you can you can um, you can go for any one of these three okay there is no restriction i'm going to use this okay because like uh, i always use this okay you can go for this two also okay it's up to you no restriction no rule so to use conda environment like to create uh, virtual environments using conda first of all you just need to download anaconda 3 okay anaconda 3 what is anaconda 3 is just uh, you can say oh not uh, the movie basically anaconda 3 for python 3 okay basically this is like a whole package you will get uh, a spider id also you will get jupyter uh, notebook also you will get many many things from here okay so you will get all these things like it, it's a uh, uh, anaconda is a bunch of environment you can say okay so you just need to type uh, anaconda 3 for python 3 and go to here anaconda.com okay and uh, you will land here and just go down like this and anaconda installers windows mac linux choose yourself okay like whatever you have see it's a py for python 3.8 even if you have python 3.5 it will work okay even if you have python 3.5 it will work no worries okay so don't get confused just go like i'm gonna i'm going for the 64 bit graphical installer so okay it's almost done and what you just need to do see very easy right 
and just open this uh, anaconda 3 okay make sure it's anaconda 3 for python 3 okay otherwise it will be like for uh, if you download anaconda then it will be like for anaconda uh, for python 2 so don't uh, download anaconda or anaconda 2 download anaconda 3 okay J just do what i just did okay go to this anaconda.com and just go for your version so uh just go agree agree and just me recommendation just uh, you just have to do this and next and uh see i've already installed right so it will not install you just stall okay you just stall and after you will install now like let me just cancel after you will install you will be having um you will be having two commands okay two command prompt first one the very basic one for yourself okay command prompt which you had earlier now you will be having anaconda prompt also this okay see this is anaconda prompt just like command prompt right so see the base environment in your like the you can say computers environment okay the basic environment and from here you can create your own virtual environment okay so install and uh, after installation this is the step you have to do okay so just pause this video and uh, let it download let it install and then let's proceed from here okay so see how to create environment so this is my base environment right now okay so conda conda the command you need to give conda uh, create create new new conda create new the environment name you need to give what's the environment name let's say tensorflow object detection so tf4d i'm gonna give uh underscore i'm making it for youtube so i'm making it for youtube so tf4d youtube i will give okay you can give anything you want tf4d youtube and from here you need to download the python version in this environment see uh sorry in this environment see whenever you create any environment you can download a separate python version okay so python version which i have tried the python version which i have tried okay though so the python version which i have tried and see i have tried many python version for this tensorflow object detection 2 okay so nothing worked but python 3.6 i'm gonna prefer okay like uh, this python version is working 3.6 point you can go for in 3.6.5 3.6.6 doesn't matter but 3.6 you should install okay not 3.7 not 3.8 not 3.9 not 3.5 uh i have tried and uh, for me nothing is working so after trying so much i I finally was able to make it by using 3.6. Okay, so I am installing 3.6. 0.5, 0.6, 0 0.7, you can do anything. But 3.6 is the main. Okay. So conda create the new TA40. This is the environment name and this is the part. Okay, so and it will get installed or uh, like here. Okay. So there you go. Just presenter and see it's creating your one environment let's say uh this environment okay this environment uh so see you just press y and yeah proceed and it's stalling some de uh, some dependencies see this is your base environment to activate okay to activate you can use this conda activate and to deactivate conda deactivate okay to activate this environment use this so conda activate tf4d youtube and uh see this see now in a, we are in our this environment tf4d youtube okay earlier we were in, a, in the base environment now we are in our this tf4d environment okay and here nothing is installed right now pip list here nothing is installed right now you can see okay just some python dependencies are installed and nothing else okay so let's check let's let me just check uh let me just check conda env list like the uh list of environments okay conda env list you can use this so 
I have some bunch of uh, see just some bunch of uh, um, environments I have made like I deleted many environments and see you can see a star here basically we are active on this environment okay this environment this environment is activated right now right t for d u two star c this environment is activated if you activate another environment star will move there okay. Uh, so T A four D YouTube and right now this. If you are in your base environment, star will be here. Okay. So where it is installed? C users like for me, C users Thiaro Anaconda three environments in the environments folder. This is installed. Okay. So you can see C users uh, for me. Okay. For me, C um, users Thiaro and where? And a quanta three. Okay, so oops, 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 oops. Yeah, and a quanta three and the environments. I deleted many environments. Uh, ENVS. Okay, and see just some same environments. Okay, so there you go. So now, um. Installing prequest and creating virtual environment. Yeah, uh, this is done. Okay, now from here, see what we need is TensorFlow two, right? So, yeah. So for graphic card users, you need to watch this. Okay, like the second tutorial which I'm gonna upload tomorrow. But how to install TensorFlow? Okay, people install TensorFlow. Those who have CPU like two point two. Okay, I'm gonna use this version. Pip install TensorFlow 2.2. Okay, for those who have graphic card, like for those who don't have graphic card, just press Enter. Okay, and it will be it will install TensorFlow CPU version. And those who have graphic card, okay, just go GPU. Again, I am repeating. Those who don't have graphic card, those who have CPU, okay. Press Enter. It will install TensorFlow CPU. And those who have NVIDIA graphic card, so pip install TensorFlow. You need to write GPU. Okay, for NVIDIA graphic card users, and those who don't have graphic card, just go see for the CPU. Okay, otherwise use Colab. So GPU. So it will install pip install TensorFlow 2.2 GPU. Oops. Uh, I think not this way. GPU is equal to 2.2, yeah. So like this, okay. And uh, yeah, GPU you need to add here. Okay, I'm sorry. GPU you need to add here, and uh, most probably, huh? Okay. If you don't have, uh, if you if you uh, don't have graphic cards, pip install TensorFlow. It's called it's called 2.2. It will work. Okay. It will install CPU version. So now you are installing the graphic card version of TensorFlow and see it's installing. It will take some time. Okay, it will take some time in your computer. Like it will take more time in my computer. It's just using some cache of some libraries. Okay, uh, but if you are installing for the first time, it will literally take more time. Um, so after this, see, we have created the environments. Okay. After this, tomorrow we will see configuration of CUDA with TensorFlow. Why? Because to use TensorFlow with graphic cards, you need to set up something like CUDA. Okay, CUDA and CUDA CNN. You need to do some extra process. Then only you will be able to use TensorFlow. You will be able to train your model with graphics card with the graphic cards. Okay, your training will be faster. Your uh, speed FPS will be faster. After all, okay. So that's the thing. So see, so if you just now write pip list and there you go. Okay, see TensorFlow GPU installed in me. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I think uh, that's all for this. If you have any doubt, you can comment or you can follow me on Instagram and DM me there. Okay. So let's meet uh, tomorrow for the second uh, tutorial for graphic cards. Okay. Like, and if you don't have graphic card, you can skip this. You can directly go for the third uh, day tutorial. 
and you can use collab okay collab is a good option for training and testing here okay so all right